take a ride around and see the state of the trail. Today, we have with us some new people, Ron and Kathy, all the way up from Vero Beach. And our full-size 350s back. Mike. Claire. Mike and Claire. And we can't forget Steve. Dusty, Dusty Boogers. In Dusty Boogers. All right, well, we're heading in. So there is a gate, there is a fee, and uh, the fee is $3 per person, but we're heading on in. Thank you, veterans. So this is a group of people that volunteer their time to man the gate at the wildlife management areas. Mm. Now we are a good 10 miles from the closest little store. So like last year, when I said, bring them some Snickers <laughs> or some Chips Ahoy, <laughs> or bring them, well, we bring, bring them chocolate. something. <laughs> chocolate. 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 You know how that, <laughs> so don't come out here with no chocolate now. Today is the first day of small game season. So if you're ever out here and you're around the hunters, give them plenty of room. Go slow if you're passing them in their vehicles. A lot of them have their kids with them, so it's just a good habit to go slow and careful as to not spook anything that's crossing their path. How you doing? How far did y'all get out there? We only went uh, past that this first long trench of water, and then uh, threw another puddle beyond that. Like the last puddles, the, the it's a little deeper than it was the last time we were out. Okay, last so, year. You know, yeah, that that's Little Creek, and the, the Little Creek ends with this <laughs> kind of roundish hole. Yeah. Last year, you stayed to the right, you were fine. As long as uh, Ian didn't mess things up, we're good. <laughs> All right. All right. Take care. Bye, thank you. of a ride and uh, it should be pretty much staying about the same the tree over here on our right hand side has your water crossing level if it's up into the yellow you definitely don't want to come up here red is not
the roots on our tree logo. That's the first portion of the water crossing. This trail that we're on, it is a one-way trail, so when you get to the end of it, you have to turn around and go back through that again. Now, at the gate where you signed in, there is a map for the small game trails. It is very, very important that you stay on the trails. Do not drive off. Do not go exploring off to the sides. There are endangered species that live out here, and the last thing you want to do is run over a gopher tortoise hole out here. Plus, uh, they will ticket you if they catch you going off the trail. So here you have a large mud hole as you come out of the creek. Now we stayed a little bit to the left on that mud hole, but what is happening is that people are beginning to make bypasses around the mud hole. And by the looks of all the logs crammed in here, your bypass is probably worse off than just taking the actual hole. And what happens is they make a bypass, which was right here. Then they made another bypass to the bypass, which is gradually tearing up more and more of the trail. So if you're equipped, 
just go through the main hole and if you're with somebody just have them ready with some recovery gear this is often a problem that we've encountered out at Richlong is that there's a bypass to the bypass to the bypass if you're going through water and you get water on your exhaust you're probably gonna get some smoke don't be alarmed by that Stay toward the 
tree. Toward the trees. Well, let's talk about that hole. Um, at the end of Little Creek, there is a hole, and that hole has some trees on the right-hand side. You're gonna have to get pretty close to those trees because the left side of the hole is the deepest part of this entire water crossing area. There's also an owl that we've seen on multiple times out here. And today again, it flew right over our heads and it's sitting up in one of those pine trees up there. Cool stuff out at Bull Creek. Two thumbs up, an e-ticket ride, and a great place to go out with your Jeep. We have our Jeep on 33s. We have Ron's Jeep on 37s. We have a F-350 on about 33s with street tires. A Trailhawk with us, a Trailhawk which is basically a stock vehicle, but it is the Rubicon of the Cherokees. And he is out here wheeling with us with street tires, but there are some buttons in here that you can push to get him through everything. So never doubt a trail hop. If you got one, go out and wheel with some friends. Worst case scenario, you get stuck, you get pulled out. And then we can pull you out. <laughs> He's got some Nitto ridge grapplers they're 33 inches he's also taken up our tail he's got lockers and uh he does well out here Haven't had these yet. but this is the deepest part of the ride it's called little creek you think you're through everything and again in the middle it's a little deeper so we usually stay off to the left side of that but hey guess what this is a one-way trail, so we're going to have to turn around and go back through it. It's a mop. Mm -hmm. okay. Some other things that you see out here. And yet it looks so bright out in the field. Steve, you can lead us out if you want to go out and uh, we'll stop where that owl was and then I can get back in front and you can take the back again. Industry. Uh, last year when I came out here, I found the shedding of an uh, indigo snake, so indigos do live out here. Watch the branches, Logan. Watch your eyes, my love.
Thank you. Honey. Well, now that we have made our way uh, all the way to where we wanted to go through both creeks, we're turning around. We've already gone back through Little Creek, and uh, pretty soon we're going to be approaching the uh, Bull Creek portion, which is incredibly beautiful at night. <laughs> all right guys okay nice meeting you walter good bye good night happy new, year. happy new year and hopefully we'll get another ride with you yeah for sure <laughs> bye thank you, bye. Thank you. Bye. i can't see <laughs> Well, that's Bull Creek. We left in the daylight and we came back at night. Uh, this trail is only open during small game season. Make sure that you remember to bring out the candy bar to the people who are working the gate. They love chocolate and they're so far out here. Uh, it is great to just give them a, a gift and appreciation. Uh, this is January 2nd. Yesterday, we were in Rich Loam, today at Bull Creek. Where we're gonna be on Wednesday, you get to find out. See you on the next ride. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment below. I'm Matt, and you met everybody else, and this has been a Florida Jeep ride with Off-Road Travels. See you on the next trail.